You all might be grinding Iron Banner for a God Roll Tusk of the Boar for use in PvE. But what if I told you Multimac is just as good? In fact, this thing is honestly incredible. And it's quite clear which way to go with this one too. Looking at the perk pool, unsurprisingly, a lot of these are more PvP only perks, which can just be disregarded. This leaves us with a few, but extremely potent options remaining. One of which is a combination I have been waiting for. Attrition orbs with kinetic tremors. And better yet, on a 900 RPM SMG, the perfect archetype of weapon to proc both of these as quickly as possible. Here's how both of these perks work on the Multimac. Kinetic Tremors will require 14 hits against a single target to activate, and on meeting the criteria will spawn 3 shockwaves at the target's location. These add a lot of extra damage and also work as an AoE damage source. Attrition Orbs will require 26 hits, but can be against multiple targets to activate, and on meeting this criteria will spawn an Orb of Power. And the neat thing here is that the damage shockwaves from Kinetic Tremors count towards the required hits for attrition orbs, so you'll be generating even more orbs than you normally would. This is great news for any subclass which utilises orbs of power, which realistically is like all of them, but some do have some great uses. Strand classes can use Thread of Warding for Woven Mail, Void subclasses can use Echo of Starvation for Devour, Hunters could use Story to Scales for high damage supers, and any class in the game can use Surges, Fonts, and pretty much the whole armor charge system. The point being, rapid orb generation is good. Like, really good. And Kinetic Tremors, as far as extra damage goes, it's up there with the best. You could even see here when just simply spammed against a single target such as Carl, it's adding quite a lot. 3 hits of up to 13,229 for a total of around 39,000. For reference, the total damage assuming all crits to proc this is actually less at 27,000. But these shockwaves cannot be reprocked while currently active, however with a high RPM weapon such as the Multimac, you can keep it at a near constant uptime. In fact, to show how good this is, I also got the other reasonable role of Attrition Orbs and Frenzy. And comparing this side to side with Kinetic Tremors, the Tremors roll takes out Carl in 14.2 seconds, while with the other role and Frenzy active, it takes 19.4 seconds. And this is completely ignoring the AoE potential and extra orbs provided by Kinetic Tremors. It's just kind of better. The only argument what could be made is what about the lack of stat bumps provided by both of these perks. You'd normally look for a reload and a damage perk, which this is missing the reload option. This is probably more utility and damage. But fear not, Bungie was kind enough to also provide one of the best origin traits in Field Tested. And be sure to switch to this, as the Skulking Wolf trait does absolutely nothing in PvE. So for my role, here's the stats before stacking Field Tested, and here is afterwards. Also, Field Tested is another one of those perks which is activated from rapid hits or kills. So again, having that 900 RPM SMG with AoE killing potential will get you maximum stacks at the fastest rate. Even lower stacks which just require a few kills, get you some nice reload benefits. So now that I've gassed up this role as much as possible, where should it be used? I mean anywhere in PvE is fine, as this is a workhorse type of weapon, but I think mid to late game is where this will thrive. Think like raids, dungeons, or even the coil. Enemies do need to be tanky enough to take 14 hits for kinetic tremors to activate, but like if you are in content where this isn't the case, pretty much any weapon will work just fine. And for subclasses and builds, again, it's quite open. But to no surprise, Strand, especially Titan, can make good use of this, being able to effectively loop Woven Mail forever. So, get back into the banner. You might have that grenade launcher, which I still don't somehow, one for reset in. But the Multimac is absolutely worth picking up too. Thank you for watching.